Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Madison Bell. Today we're going to talk about the common reasons why people make mistakes and trainers when you're trying to do dog training. Sit. Down. Good boy. Thunder. Foos. Foos. Sit. Down. Good boy. more videos from us like subscribe and comment we would like to continue making more videos to help you out with what you're doing with your dog so support us by subscribing to our channel so that we can continue to make more great videos with dog training and to get you on your way to where you're trying to be thanks again And the common reason why people make mistakes in dog training is the first thing they want to do is they want to train their dog in an open area for distractions and all this other stuff. When you start training a dog, they don't need any distractions. They need engagement with the owner. And you can't get engagement outside. They're going to want to smell everything. Span over here and look. This is what they're going to want. This is what they're going to do. They're going to want to, they're going to, want to do is poop and smell everything. And they're not going to be engaged with you. So you should be in a private setting. And we'll show you that in a minute. The second mistake that owners make is they get a treat that's not something the dog wants. And they understand why the dog doesn't want the treat because it's not a treat that they want. Okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to do engagement. The dog should be on leash when you first start. They should be a leash connected. Because if, if you don't have a leash, and I wanted to use Zilla because Zilla's not trained, so I can show you what it looks like. Zilla! I don't have a leash and he's just running off. He's just running off. He's just doing, he's doing Zilla, right? So I have no control over him and I have to get engagement. So now I got engagement. This is simple engagement. Here, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. See? And if you notice, he didn't even take the treat because. There's so much other fun stuff out here than this treat right now. Zilla, come here. Good boy, come here. So now he's got the treat and he's back off. So there's no engagement right now. There's so many distractions out here. This is the number one reason why people can't train their dogs. They don't have the dog engaged with them so the dog can stay with them and learn. So you need to find a quiet place, a room, um, not grass surfaces that they can smell where the dogs have pooped and pee, um, a hard surface, and a quiet place. You have to teach the dog the commands first. Once they understand the commands, then you can ask the dog to do more. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Just engagement. Making him think it's a game. And if you're watching Zilla... As soon as he goes down, he sniffs the ground. As soon as he's going to get the treat, he sniffs the ground. Watch this. Good boy. His head hits the ground. This is a prime example of why you shouldn't be training on the grass surface when you're, when you're, and we're talking about dogs like on their first day you're training them, right? This is what we're talking about. We're talking about engagement. The dog needs to like the treats. The dog needs to be into training. Uh, if they're not having a good time, then you're going to have an awful time trying to get engagement, right? 
And when you start training them, you're just showing them positions. If you notice, I just switched him around and had him do a heel. That's all I did. I just moved him around to a heel, and I didn't say heel. I'm just, watch again. Come on. Come on, good boy. I'm just turning him in positions, okay? All right, so we're going to show you real quick. We're going to put him on leash, and we're going to show you a difference in him. All right, now we're back with Zilla. Now he's on a leash. And he's on a, and he's hooked to his collar. Now I got full control over him to keep him engaged with me while I'm trying to show him something. Okay? So now I got him on the leash. Zilla. Here. Good boy. Good boy. Woo. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Sid. Good boy. Engagement. I'm moving around. I'm not asking him to do any commands. I'm just engaging him into the into this whole theme of training. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He can't run off. If he wants to sniff the ground, I can pop his head back up. Right? Good boy. Good boy. He went down. I gave him a treat. This is this is it. This is engagement, okay? Now we're going to skip forward and we're going to show you how this process really should start in the beginning. All right, so this is where training should start, especially when you're starting with a new dog. It should not start outside. It shouldn't start in distractions. You need them to understand what you're trying to show them, and you need to take away as much sense as possible. You need to have them in an enclosed environment. You need to have the noise level down, and then you need to show them. That way you can show them rewards, treats, and everything. If you notice, if you see the little his, his, his mannerism has changed. He's not running around. He's not trying to get anywhere. Zella, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. His mannerisms change. He's more calm. He can listen. He can get, he can get, he can understand and process commands that I'm trying to give to him. Okay? Zilla, come on. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Wait. Zilla, come here. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. It's that simple, guys. You have to do it in an enclosed environment, and then you can move forward and doing it outside at a dog park and all these other places. But the first beginning for the dog must be limited distractions. It needs to be enclosed on a hard surface. Um, I don't recommend carpet because you can smell a lot of scents in that. Something like a black top or concrete top is the best way to do it, okay? So when you're showing these dogs the commands and you're showing them the hand signals, they'll get it. But if you're trying to train the dog around other people, other animals, outside, dog parks, and all these other places, before you've shown the dog what you want them to do, you're not going to be successful. Down. Get down. Here. Good boy. Come here. Good boy. So I have his attention. I have him on leash. And I have control of him. Good boy. Good sit. And this is simple. You can do this for at least for about a week. Maybe two weeks. And then you can start doing all the other fancy stuff outside and everywhere else. All right. So first, it should not be distractions. I know a lot of dog trainers post videos with them at the stores and all these other places with the dog. But this is the part they did not show you. When they started training the dog, they didn't show you that they did it in an enclosed environment away from distractions and all this other stuff. Okay, so number one mistake people make is training the dog outside that doesn't know commands, that doesn't know positions with distractions in a foreign place, um, and the dog won't never catch the command. So you have to do it enclosed, and then you move outdoors, and then you add distractions. So you have to follow that format. The number two thing is engagement. The dog has to be engaged with you. They have to like the treats, and they have to think what you're doing is fun. If they don't like both, you're not going to get um, any kind of response from the dog. It's very important, guys. Engagement is the number one thing, and this is engagement right here. Good boy, come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's engagement, making it exciting for the dog, okay? If the dog is not engaged, then they're not going to want to play. All right. You have to turn it into a game for the dog. They have to think that the good things are going to happen when they're playing with you. And then you're going to start seeing a difference in dog training. Right, Zilla? You're going to see a difference in dog training.
I hope that guys helped you out better to start your function with your dog, get him in an enclosed environment, grab a great treat, uh, cut down the noises and smells, and then you'll start to get your dog engaged in what you're trying to do. I'm Madison Bell. You guys have a good one.